Today we're going to go over the wide world of accessories put out by Baby Zen for the yo-yo, discussing our opinions on the use value of each of them, and dividing them into three categories. Accessories that will be very useful for most parents, accessories that can have value given specific circumstances, and accessories that are more or less entirely useless in our opinion or that should be avoided because their use greatly increases the pace at which your yo-yo will wear down. So let's get started then, with those items that are almost always useful, and beginning with a rain cover, sold for 40 bucks, which is an absolutely essential thing to have in most parts of the world, and which frankly, ought to still come included with purchase in my opinion. The mosquito net, sold for 25 may also be necessary depending on where you live, and what's really important with both of these items is simply to factor the cost in when buying the yo-yo in the first place, since they're not the sort of things that you can do without, unless you'll be only using the stroller indoors. Next up is the leg rest, sold for 40 bucks, which can be a very useful piece of kit if you're using the yo-yo with a smaller toddler, generally 6 to 18 months, and that provides leg support for naps while still allowing the yo-yo to fold down just as easily as if it weren't attached. The yo-yo leg rest is not super long, which is why it's really only relevant for that early period, but if your child is within this age span, then the leg rest is definitely worthwhile in my opinion. And last up, for the straight up useful section, are the two spare parts kits that Babies End markets on their site and through distributors, sold for 50 bucks each. The replacement wheel set and the handle. And the wheel set is the more important of these, allowing parents to easily fix the most common wear problem that I've seen in the workshop, namely that the ball bearings tend to loosen over time, in particular on the back wheels. Replacing the handle is usually more of a cosmetic decision, resulting from the foam or leather being damaged, and if you're less concerned with keeping your yo-yo looking good, then third-party handle covers or even just grip tape can also fix the problem. But the spare handle is still a nice component to have available in my opinion for protecting resale value. Alright, next then, are those accessories that can be useful given more specific circumstances where first up are the car seat adapters, also around 50 bucks, allowing the yo-yo chassis to be kept in the trunk for quick excursions from your car without waking up your baby and transferring them to the stroller. Baby Zen's adapters work with several of the bigger car seat brands, varying slightly in form depending on your region, and are a good choice if you're using the yo-yo with a newborn, even allowing one to skip purchasing the pricier newborn pack or bassinet, provided that you use a lie-flat car seat or otherwise ensure that your baby is not kept in an upright position for more than two hours at a stretch. As far as the other newborn options go, for parents with less car-based lifestyles, there are then the newborn pack, sold for 180 bucks, and the bassinet, sold for 250 And my general opinion on both of these is primarily that it's best not to use Ultra Compacts as one's main stroller solution for the newborn phase, since they're smaller and more fragile than larger sized models, have poorer suspension, and keep your child closer to the ground. Though, if you absolutely need a newborn solution with a yo-yo, such as for holiday use, then the newborn pack will be better if your use will entail a lot of folding and carrying your yo-yo, since it can be carried as a single piece, while the bassinet provides more protection and will be a better choice for places like amusement parks that can be a bit crowded and rowdy. Also more of a holiday choice in my opinion is the yo-yo bag, priced at $90, which can be useful for added storage during longer periods where you won't be folding and carrying your stroller, and which is definitely a far superior option to hanging a heavy bag from the handle, since it's been designed to distribute the majority of weight to its mini-wheeled board and the rear frame where it will do less damage to the chassis. It may get in the way of your legs a little when walking, and for this reason is a subpar option for improving the yo-yo storage capacity as an everyday thing, but again, for holidays and day trips, it can be a nice accessory to have. Finishing up with the more conditionally useful accessories are the Baby Zen Cup Holder at 30 bucks and the Foot Muff for 125 where the cup holder can be nice for use in airports and malls and the like, or for holding a closed bottle, though, when outside on the streets, since the yo-yo is so light, it will generally jitter a bit too much to hold an open cup without spilling. As far as the foot muff is concerned, despite being nicely made, it's worth noting that there are plenty of third-party options out there that will also fit the yo-yo, so you might want to shop around a little bit to see what you like best, and to get the right degree of insulation for your own conditions before purchasing. Alright, moving lastly on to those accessories that I would judge as either simply more or less useless, or worse, to be avoided because their use can damage your stroller, we'll begin by briefly going over the harmless items, where there's the mittens, which, though a nice thought I suppose, living in a cold climate myself, I've generally found that, if it's cold enough to need something like this, you're probably already wearing gloves anyway. 
Then there's the parasol, which is simply an annoyingly frustrating means of blocking the sun compared to just getting a third party sun hood. And lastly, the backpack, which is useless because, in case you didn't know, the yo-yo already comes with a shoulder strap and a travel bag and also has pretty limited storage capacity, meaning that you're really better off with a regular backpack to carry stuff while just slinging the yo-yo over your shoulder. As far as the accessories that should be avoided are concerned, there's firstly the wheeled board, an accessory that I don't recommend for any stroller, but in particular for lighter weight and more fragile ultra compacts, because wheeled boards are one of the chief causes of loose or broken chassis in that the added weight, combined with real world steering, tipping, and rougher terrain, puts too much pressure on both the rear wheels and frame, and also the connection points and locking mechanisms of the rest of the chassis. Secondly, there's the Yo-Yo Connect, which also overstresses the rear frame of your primary yo-yo, as well as the handle when folded and hung up for mono mode, and which in addition also has a long wire-based brake system likely to develop problems down the line, which is somewhat ridiculous in my opinion in how it must be tipped when in use, and which costs the same as a full yo-yo despite being little more than an overcomplicated wheeled board. And lastly, for those accessories that I'd flat out not recommend, are the yo-yo skis, where the problem is not that they don't make the yo-yo easier to traverse snow, because they do, but rather that, even with the skis, one is still basically just forcing the yo-yo over ground that is too harsh for the model, where the strain and vibrations will weaken and loosen not just the handle, but every connection point across the entire chassis. There are strollers that are good in snowy conditions, and there are also ski attachments for larger, hardier models that work great, but true snowy conditions are not a place for the yo-yo, at least not if you want it to last. In any case, we hope you found this video useful, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about these accessories, we have standalone reviews and demonstrations for a few of them, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find that by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.